Hey guys, it's Luke Keen from TechGeek.biz and in this video we're going to be looking at how to send mail message through PowerShell using SendMail. Now this is relatively easy, so I'll just tell you about the fundamentals essentially. Now, if you haven't been using PS credential files or storing your passwords in as secure string, you really need to do this for this especially these because you are putting passwords in clear text and the other thing is when you do use this and you don't use use SSL everything is going in clear text over the internet now that might not be bad to you but that's bad to most people if anything's slightly confidential inside your messages so definitely use SSL switch because that would be fantastic. Now to save me putting in my password in front of you, I've made this into a function. Now I will make a video on how to make a function. So, but we'll continue. So actually, just for fun, geek.biz. So I'm going to send myself an email message saying hello, the body. Now you put this in double quotes because you're going to be putting, well technically you should put the subject in double quotes. Now what you can actually do when you are putting these in scripts, which another video will do is how to make this very handy with your backup. So when you, you can actually add variables to this. So say you got a username, that variable username will come up as what that actual um, variable is in your script. So that's fantastic for, well scripts essentially, and emails to yourself. So, this is all pretty straightforward. Subject, body. Now when you are going to be making this and not from a function, you're gonna have a from. However, this is already set up and the username and password are already set up in this function. So that's why I'm not adding them here. And that's basically it. And send. Easy add to that. Now when you do I just got an email and when you do do this you can have error, error actions warning actions information so if it doesn't send it'll tell you however you won't get an email so that's how it's not going to tell you as well and also you could have it set to retry after I don't know every five minutes until it's successful and do until loop type thing so that's all for today as I said, if you're going to use this, please, please don't put your passwords into it as plain text. I know it's easy, but just don't do it. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, just use the links below. And uh, I hope you have a lovely day.